This book was so bad. Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Cheesy vampire romance. I live for it. Last Houses, which is the first book in the Morganville Vampire series. It's crazy, man. Today is Thursday, May 9th. I just got off of work. It's about 3 p.m. and I figured this would be like the sweet spot for starting these vlogs and they're gonna be like a weekend reading vlog kind of thing because I get off at 2 p.m. on Thursdays from work and then I don't have anything on Friday. I have the day off and then I have the weekend, obviously. That's like a solid four days that we can do for these vlogs, which I think will be really good. So yeah, I just got home and I just had to send over an invoice for something. And now because this Sunday is Mother's Day, I wanna run out and get one more thing for my mom's gift. So this video is gonna go up after that so I can show you what I got her. So I'm basically putting together like a big basket. I honestly think the card was the most expensive but it was really cute so I got it anyway. And this is what it looks like. I don't know how well you can see it but I got her this sun hat because she really likes to float on like a floaty in the pool out there and I figured this will keep her from getting sunburned because she never remembers to put on sunscreen. She really likes gardening and stuff so I got her a basil plant and like a grow kit and then I got her some stuff for like a spa day. So I got her a bath bomb, a couple of face masks, some new tinted chapstick, and then I got her um, peanut m ms because these are her favorite candy. So I think I just want to go pick up a bottle of red wine and stick that in here because she loves red wine. And then maybe grab myself a bottle of wine while I'm at the liquor store because I got a lot of this from Target and my plan had been to just pick up a bottle of wine while I was at Target because that's what I always did when I was at school because Target in Virginia had an excellent, like an excellent wine selection. And then I forgot that Colorado doesn't sell wine in stores other than liquor stores. And so I couldn't get it in Target, obviously. But then I have the rest of the day off so we can just get into the reading. Let me tell you a little bit about what I've been reading. I finally unpacked all of my books yesterday. They are all over the place. I completely run out of shelf space. So I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna do like a clear out my TBR unhaul video coming soon. So get excited about that. Maybe this weekend, honestly, because looking at like the stacks over there, let me show you the freaking stacks. Like how ridiculous is this? When we have all four of these are full. And then I decided to put my little one from school over here. I haven't figured out what I'm going to put in the bottom one right there yet because I put all of my notebooks and my currently reading up here. And then these are all of the physical books that I've read so far this year. Like how sad does that look? Like there's not any of them. We'll get into that later. And then I already used up all the space up here for books too. So basically I just don't have anywhere to put them. So we're going to get rid of some. I'll obviously talk more about that in the actual unhaul video. But yeah, as I was like putting together that little um, side table shelf, I was like looking through the books that I'd read this year and I hadn't thought that it had been a bad reading year for me. Like I feel like I've enjoyed the books that I've read. Like I hadn't felt like I'd been in a reading slump. I'd just been busy. But I've only read like 12 or 13 I think it is so far this year, which isn't bad, but that's so abnormal for me. Usually by this time in the year I've read like at least 30 books. I'm really hoping to get a good chunk of reading done this summer and catch up because there are so many books that I want to read and that just made me sad when I realized that, that I just like haven't read like anything this year. That's definitely the least amount that I've read in like this amount of time since I got my Goodreads in like 2012, 2013, like it's been a long time. But anyway, what I'm reading currently, I've been listening to audiobooks on script because my commute to work isn't the best. It's at least a half an hour there and a half an hour back. So that's an hour of audiobook listening guaranteed every day. So I just finished listening to Easy by Tamara Weber. You can't see that, but now I started reading Glass Houses, which is the first book in the Morganville Vampire series. This copy is actually a bind up of the first two books, but I'm about halfway through, I think the first one. I was just really in the mood for a paranormal book. So if you have a paranormal or like a paranormal romance book that you love, please recommend it to me because I am in such a mood for that right now. And other than that, I downloaded on Scribd also Christine's new book again, but better. So I might start listening to that as well. And then also if you were watching my other vlogs before this one, I am still working on my book, working hard with my beta readers. We're about halfway through this draft right now and I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it because this is my favorite part of the process because you just get to watch your project improve and get better and you're finally starting to get out of that like this is crap mindset because you have other people reading it and telling you their reactions and when they're like oh my god like I need to know what happens next or oh my god this is so cute or oh my god I love this like you're finally hearing someone else enjoy it 
and so that gives you like a little confidence boost. So this is my favorite part because all of my beta readers, if you're one of them, thank you so much. You guys have been pointing out such smart and helpful things and I just feel like the book is becoming exponentially better now and I'm very very excited to do something with it and I'm excited to start doing some writing vlogs and stuff with you guys. Anyway, I feel like I've been sitting here and talking for a long time. That was not the intent. I didn't want to have a really long intro for this vlog but since it's the first one I had a lot to catch you up on. If you missed my life update I'll have that link down below in the description. That'll explain everything better than this did. So I just want to throw this in here in case you didn't watch that life update or if you just didn't watch it all the way to the end because it was a long video. I totally get it. The announcement was at like the very end of the video. I feel kind of weird like talking about this and like advertising it. I don't want you guys to ever feel like I'm like pushing this at you. So please don't get that feeling. I feel so weird talking about it. I started a Patreon page. I'll have it linked down below if you want to go check it out. Please feel no pressure whatsoever. But yeah, I'm going to be using that nothing's changing about this channel so like don't stress about that whatsoever but i'm just adding a ton of bonus content over there there's like three people right next to me in their cars and they're totally gonna see me talking to myself so maybe we should start driving I just completely lost my train of thought right patreon what is it gonna be um yeah so i'm still kind of like playing around with the tiers and stuff on there and what i'm offering so like if you have a different idea that you want to recommend to me i'm totally open-minded about that right now there's four tears in there and so basically the whole like idea behind it is I wanted to make a place that would have like a second smaller community like ideally I really want to get a nice group of people over there and we can make a smaller book club and we can vote on a book every month and have like a live show on there and stuff and I'm also going to be putting up at least one or two exclusive videos on there or podcasts or things like that that are never going to be on this channel and then also like early access to videos that will be on here eventually but you would get to see them before anyone else so basically that's what it is i just thought it would be a fun side project to kind of play around with this summer so that's that like i said don't feel any pressure but if that's something that you want if you wanted to get some more content or if you just want to come like hang out with me in like a smaller setting where i feel like i could actually get to know some of you better that's what it's for because i love this platform i love this channel i love this community you guys honestly feel like my community like my family like your support. I don't like mean like you're supporting me like literally you are a support system for me. I love getting comments saying my videos have like helped you guys through like hard times because me making the videos and you guys being here has helped me through my hard times. So that like reciprocation makes me very happy. But anyway, I keep getting like off on tangents. I just wanted it to be an easier way to like actually talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one and get to know you a little bit better because I love this channel but there's like 18,000 of us. And so that makes being like personal hard sometimes is the point. So now I'm gonna get off the phone because I gotta park. <laughs> we got the wine. I have never spent that much money on a bottle of wine in my life. But the guy at the liquor store said that was his favorite of the Malbecs. And I don't drink red wine because they give me migraines. So I don't know anything about which ones are good or not. And it wasn't like super expensive. I think it was like $23, but I usually spend about six dollars on my bottles of wine but it's for my mom so it's worth it i really hope she likes it we shall see the problem is like mother's day is coming up but my mom's birthday is also like uh the second week of june so they're so close together so i can't use up like all of my good ideas on gifts now because then i have no idea what i'm gonna get her for her birthday so if you have ideas for birthday gifts for mothers, let me know because I got to come up with something soon. But yeah, since this is actually going to be a reading vlog and not just one of my like week in my life vlogs, let's talk about books. So have any of you guys read the Morganville Vampire books? Because they're old. I know that. I think the first one came out in like 2006 or something and you can totally tell it's actually been kind of amusing because all of the references just to like technology and just the way these characters lives are like I remember that because I was alive at that point but it also just feels like so foreign that they like don't have cell phones and just like weird things like that and they still all use like the landline and so when they like call and they're like sorry I haven't been home that's why I like didn't pick up the phone like it's just so funny because it's so different from the way life is right now so that part of the book I find very amusing um just kind of like a throwback to 10 years ago that's more than 10 years oh my god that makes me feel really old <laughs> yeah i'm only halfway through the first book i totally could like trash this book for how bad it is 
but I'm enjoying it so like it's fine it's kind of funny how that works so I'm, I would just be curious if any of you guys have read these books because I know they are a much older series and it's been something that's been on my TBR for so long that I like almost forgot about these books honestly because they're so old so I'm glad that I'm finally getting to them but like I was saying I've just been in such a mood for paranormal like I wanted to read about vampires I don't know why I probably just because I haven't read it in a long time but I hate that like paranormal and paranormal romances don't sell or like not a thing anymore. Like, are you kidding me? I would eat that shit up. I would buy all of those books. What are you talking about? People don't want to read that anymore. I want to read that. I was all about the paranormal romances in high school when I was like first getting into reading. Like bring on this cheesy vampire romance. I live for it. So it's about 5.30 right now and I'm listening to the audiobook. I'm cooking dinner upstairs. I just came down here to grab my wine so I could have a glass while I make some dinner. I'm just making some veggie pasta and some broccoli and I'm just gonna mix it all together. I think I only have like three hours left of the audiobook for Glass Houses. So honestly, I might finish that tonight but my plan is to make dinner and bring all of this down here and pull up stuff to work on my book tonight. Good morning, happy Friday. Today is my day off, oh, finally. I literally have not stopped, like, go, 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 moving since graduation on Saturday. Honestly, since that whole week, because we had things going on all week, so it's been like two weeks since I've been able to catch my breath. Today's my first day off, and it's so nice. I slept in a little bit. I slept until 6.30. I've been getting up at 5.30 every morning. Not because I have to, just because I like never adjusted to the time change, so it felt like 7.30, and I just kind of went with it, because it was kind of nice being up that early and having all that extra time in the morning. But basically, now what I'm gonna do is get ready and put my makeup on and everything because I want to film at least one or two videos today just so I can have them like ready to go because if I keep going on this trend that I've been doing so far I have not been filming or anything during the week because I've been so tired when I get home from work but this morning it's about 8 30 now I've been listening to glass houses I have less than an hour left of this audiobook so I'm definitely planning on finishing that this morning I'm just putting tinted moisturizer on right now so yeah I really want to finish that I ordered a couple of books last night um I don't think they'll be here till Monday though but I did find the audiobooks for a couple of them on Scribd so I might start listening to the audiobooks before the physical copy gets here I ordered finale by stephanie garber because i didn't realize that that was coming out but it's coming out so i really want to read that what else did i order i ordered uh truly devious by maureen johnson because i've heard really really good things about that i think i also ordered the devouring gray or maybe i just looked at that one i honestly can't remember i think i only ordered those three and then i put a ton of things in my cart on book outlet but then i like just couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger on it i think once i do that massive unhaul and i get rid of a lot of these books and i figure out where i'm gonna put everything then i'll be more willing to get new books but right now i just have so much stuff that i'm just like can't quite bring in a ton of new books yet so yeah i'm gonna turn you guys off so i can get back to listening to my audiobook and hopefully finish it this morning Okay, so it's about 10.30 now. I just did all of the dishes and I got back from walking my dogs and I finished listening to the audiobook for Glass Houses. <laughs> this book was so bad. I gave it a two and a half out of five stars on Goodreads and I have a lot of thoughts on it. I'll probably talk a lot about it in my wrap up, but yeah, it wasn't good. I didn't go in with like high expectations. I was really just expecting it to be kind of a trashy YA book and I was hoping it was going to be that because it's like a 15 book series. So I was like if I like this first book that's like 15 trashy books that I can read and it was really bad and it wasn't trashy enough 
to make it enjoyable enough to make up for how bad it was, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I may have liked this if I'd read it when I was younger, but it's only, at least in my copy, 222 pages is the first book. And it's this like paranormal world and stuff. And so I felt like everything in it was underdeveloped, which would make sense because it was so short. Like there were so many things that should have been fleshed out from the world to the characters to the character relationships just like everything felt bare bones and it was just not great it was like insta love but like insta friendships and it just i don't know the pacing was off like i just had a lot of issues with it and i kind of enjoyed it but not as much as i was hoping to to make up for all of the problems i had with it if that makes sense like i've read much better trashy books that are done better if that makes sense but because it's such a long series I feel like if the publisher was willing to publish 15 of these books people must have loved them for some reason so I might continue on with the series it might be one of those things where like you start to love it more as you go I don't know so if you have any experience with the series let me know if you think it gets better after the first book I was disappointed I was hoping to really enjoy it. I was hoping it was going to be something like trashy like Twilight and I would like it despite its flaws or something like Vampire Academy which I loved binge reading but it just wasn't as good. But anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready because I have a video that I want to film today. Also, if you guys know the band Parachute, if you know me, you know they are my favorite band. Apparently, they just had a new album come out. I hadn't realized that it had already been released, so if you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. I'm just now listening to it, so I don't know if it's good, but because it's Parachute, I'm assuming it's good. As for my next book, I'm gonna pick an audiobook that I want to read, and I want to pick up a physical book too, because I'm kind of in the mood to just like read a book and not listen to one for a while. So audiobooks, I have saved a ton on script, and I'm having a hard time deciding what I want to listen to. I'm trying to decide between Again But Better, by Christine Riccio, Little Monsters by Kara Thomas, Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, and I Darken by Kristen White, and Finale by Stephanie Garber. That's a lot to choose from. And the video I'm about to film is all about my TBR books and stuff, so I think after filming that, maybe I'll decide what physical book I want to read, because honestly, I don't even know what books I have anymore, and that'll help me refresh. Good morning everyone, happy Saturday. I just made myself a nice breakfast. We got some scrambled tofu, breakfast potatoes, a little bit of watermelon, and I already had some espresso, so now I'm trying to switch over to some water. And I had an early access video go up on Patreon yesterday, so now I'm just gonna make sure it's all ready to go because it's gonna go up on my YouTube channel tomorrow. It's my Sunday upload. So just like making sure the description and everything's all updated and stuff like that. I'm thinking I might film another video today. I've been thinking about filming the booktube real talk tag because I've seen that going around and I definitely have some thoughts. I also haven't done a tag in a really long time. And I think I might start reading An Ember in the Ashes today. I think I forgot to show you guys. I got three books in the mail yesterday. I put on my Instagram stories and I made a little like poll thing to see which one you guys thought I should read next. And let me actually look at the results. 121 people voted for Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. And then about 60 65 for each for finale and the devouring gray so truly devious definitely won out so i might try that one too i tried starting the audiobook and i like was not interested at all in the first chapter just listening to it so i think maybe i'll try picking up the physical copy maybe i just like am not in the mood to listen to it i don't know i've also been thinking about making some not just writing vlogs but like sit down videos about writing so if you have any specific questions like or specific topics that you want me to cover in videos about writing feel free to leave those in a comment down below because i would love to make some videos but i'm still kind of going back and forth on what i would want the topic to be So I just finished getting ready and I took some pictures for my bookstagram. If you don't already follow me over there, I'll pop it on the screen. You should join me. It's a good time. But I've been reading Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I think I'm going to stick with this one I'm on chapter four. But yeah, I've heard amazing reviews about this, so I'm really hoping that I love it as much as everyone else seems to. So from what I gather, from what I've read so far and from the description, this is the first book in a murder mystery trilogy. And it's about this girl who goes to this like elite academy, like boarding school kind of thing. And she's like an enthusiast about true crime and she's just starting at this new school and there was this cold case about this murderer who suddenly shows back up. So I think it sounds like really cool. You guys know I love murder mysteries, thrillers, that kind of thing. And I also just love like boarding schools and stuff like that. So I'm hoping I really like this one. 
Okay, so two things. I thought I would give you my first impression of the book, and then also, has anyone else been following what's going on with the James Charles drama right now? I was never subscribed to him. I never really liked him anyway, but I'm still, like, very interested in what's going on. It's crazy, man. Anyway, first impressions with the book. I think I'm really gonna like our main character, Stevie. I really love when our main character is, like, so passionate and dead set on one thing like this girl wants to solve crimes like with every fiber of her being and she seems really smart and clever and i like her like i was saying earlier i wanted to film some videos today i was just waiting for my hair to dry so i might take a break from reading and do that in a little bit also my camera is about to die so i need to go find my backup battery i also at some point need to clean up from the last video that i filmed but that was that tbr video and i'm not putting that up until tomorrow and so once i put it up tomorrow and i start getting your guys's comments about like whether or not you think i should keep or get rid of the books that i showed in that video it didn't seem to make like a lot of sense to um like start putting them back on my shelf until i decide which ones i want to keep you know so i've just been kind of letting them sit there so it's now quite a bit later i just kind of forgot to talk to you guys i'm sorry it's like six o'clock now i filmed a video i edited it and then i ran on the treadmill for a little bit i'm still working on truly devious i've been listening to the audiobook and i just made myself some mini burritos and i'm gonna take a break and watch desperate housewives for a little while the book is pretty good so far but i really want to stop listening to the audiobook and pick up the physical copy because I feel like I keep just like zoning out and not paying attention and I know if I keep going on like this I'm not gonna enjoy it as much as I would if I just read it. Good morning, happy Sunday. It's a little after seven and I just got up. I just had a video go up on my channel so I'm gonna sit here and respond to comments as they come in and I also just got feedback from one of my beta readers for the next couple of chapters. So I'm gonna go over that and at least read through her feedback if not start making a list of the changes that I want to make but first I'm gonna go grab some coffee. It's weird because my parents are in the mountains right now and they took the dogs with them and so like when I go upstairs and stuff it's like super quiet and I don't have any dogs like attacking me and barking at me. It's so weird. So it's a lot later. It's almost two o'clock. I have honestly no idea how this much time has passed. Like I don't even know what I've been doing. I'm working on my book. I watched some YouTube videos. I did some yoga and walked on the treadmill for a little bit and I made lunch. And now I'm drinking my all-time fave cold brew protein. These are really, really good. Would highly recommend this brand. I'm obsessed with it. They are a little bit more expensive, so I don't get them super often, but they also like donate to charities that help human trafficking and stuff, and they're all vegan and natural, and they don't have any of the gunk in them, so they're really worth it, in my opinion. This is not sponsored. I would love to be sponsored by them, but I just really like them. Yeah, I'm going through my beta readers' comments right now, and I'm thinking what I want to do, because I've been making a list of all of the changes. I guess I could show you kind of my process for how I've been revising. I might make like a whole writing video on that, but basically what I do is I write it all out in my notebook, and on one side of the page, I write the notes, like the big things that I think I'm going to need to change, and on the corresponding page I brainstorm solutions and how I'm gonna fix the problem and so now I'm coming up with a separate list of things that have kind of been accumulating throughout the different feedback that's not like on like a scene level or a chapter level problem like this is something that needs to be like sprinkled in throughout the book like I just need to mention this every once in a while so it's like consistent throughout if you know what I mean so I have a list of like little details and little things that are like grand scale just need to be kind of sprinkled in throughout the draft so I think I might print out the chapters that we've already gone through and I've already made all of the scene and chapter level changes to. And then on the printed out copy, I can go through and see where I can add these details. I don't know if this is making any sense, but I just like to work on page for like smaller things and then I work on the computer for bigger changes. So I'm kind of in the mood to take a break from the bigger changes. So I think I'm gonna print out the first 13 chapters, I think is what I left off at to do these little changes. We have a printer here but it's tiny and I usually break it when I do these big print jobs. So we'll see how well this goes. Hopefully we have ink. Actually, this section is 132 pages. I don't even know if we have that much paper. I don't even know if our printer is capable of printing on double side. We're gonna, we're gonna have to figure this out. So it looks like we have barely any paper in here and we are out. All we have is like fancy resume paper and that's not gonna be helpful. I'm gonna go look upstairs to see if we have any paper, but I was thinking I needed to run to the store today anyway, cause we're out of laundry detergent. So maybe I'll just go. And I'll pick up printer paper 
and some laundry detergent. I should check and make sure we have ink before I go. So I thought I would update you because I have not updated you very much at all today. It's almost six o'clock and I haven't done any reading. So that's why I have not been updating you, but I did make a lot of progress on my book. I was sitting outside just getting some fresh air and working on edits out there, which was really nice. I sat there for until my computer died and then I came in. But yeah, I think I might end the vlog here because I honestly don't think I'm gonna read anything tonight because Game of Thrones is on tonight. So I'm gonna watch that and then get ready to go to bed early because I have to get up super early for work tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this weekend. Let me know what you thought of the weekend reading vlog kind of style. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to keep doing the vlogs and stuff, so I'm just kind of playing around with what format they're going to take. So I hope you enjoyed this weekend. I kind of liked getting back into the more like reading vlog style kind of thing. It's been a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, feel free. I put up at least two new videos every single week. Follow me on social media or Patreon if you want. All those links are down below in the description. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up because it helps out my channel a lot. And I will just see you guys with my Thursday upload. No, this is the Thursday upload. I will see you with the Sunday upload which is going to be, you heard it here first, the booktube real talk tag. At least that's the one I have scheduled unless I film something between now and then that I like more that I would rather have go up on Sunday. It's going to be the booktube real talk tag, which I got like super off topic in and very tangent-y, but I think it turned out pretty well. I hope you guys like it. I talk about how I grew my channel, kind of why I regret growing my channel the way that I did. Talk about booktube drama, all that kind of stuff you have to look forward to. So yes, I will see you guys on Sunday. Have a great weekend. Bye. So hit me. So hit me. So hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With you, it's